close-knit local community is struggling to deal with a tubing accident that killed a high school student. And tonight, the victim's friends are expressing their sorrow and pain. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco reports from Greenwich, Connecticut on the boating tragedy. A heartbroken community mourning the tragic death of Emily Fedorko. The 16-year-old died while boating with three friends in the waters of the Long Island Sound. I'm still shocked to believe that this crash out was a freak accident. Jason Otis says his sister was supposed to go out on the water with the four 16-year-old girls. Thankfully, they, uh, the owner of the boat's daughter said that they don't have enough room. So they, they didn't go on it. Fedorko and a friend were on this tube being pulled by this speedboat. After falling off, investigators say both teens were hit by the boat's propeller. Part of the investigation will determine how long they were out there, when they left, where they left from, those type of things, just like a motor vehicle accident. The second girl injured in the accident now being treated in the hospital for a leg wound. While investigators are recreating the accident, Fedorko's friends have taken to social media to express their sadness, including Sabrina Thurber, who was on the boat. She tweeted Wednesday, still can't believe what I witnessed today. You will never leave my heart and I will miss you forever. Others tweeted, I would do anything to see you one more time and never felt so much pain in my life. An uncle of one of the teens on the boat said they can't even begin to imagine the pain and loss of Emily's family. She was really nice to, to me. She was sort of like a sister. Investigators aren't saying who the boat was registered to, but that the 16-year-old operator was properly licensed. Emily Fedorko was set to start her junior year here at Greenwich High School along with the other teens involved in the accident. Grief counselors have been out here all day helping these students deal with this devastating loss. From Greenwich, Connecticut, Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News.